Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Do you have a favorite child? Your kids probably think you do, even if it's not true. Here to help us tackle, tackle the difficult topic of sibling rivalry, we welcome the author of The Secret World of Children, family therapist, Mary Wallace. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. So where does sibling rivalry come from? Oh, if you have more than one child, you're gonna have to <laughs> Okay, to so we're all going through it somehow. Now, it's really interesting to know that secretly, each child wants to be the most loved in the family. So if, if you're pouring apple juice into your, your cu uh, child's cup, and then your, your si the sibling's cup, they're watching, their eyes are watching, because if you give a little more to the other one, they're gonna feel you love the other one more. They notice everything. It's a good reminder just to be aware of every move we make because they are keeping score, aren't they? Yes, they are, absolutely. And, and they really take it uh, very hard. They become jealous, they become angry, and suddenly you have physical fights or you have one sibling saying nasty things to another sibling, and it's very difficult for parents. Yeah, so let's begin in the baby stage. You've got one child, you bring home baby number two. That's tough for the older one to navigate because that baby's getting so much attention. Absolutely, because the older child had his parents to himself for a, a while, maybe a year or two years, and had all the love and attention, all the toys were his, and now he has to share mommy and daddy, and that's really difficult. And then the roles reverse, right? When child number one gets a little bit older and they get to go on more adventures and try new things, and the younger sibling is going, wait a minute, I wanna do that stuff too. Absolutely, the younger child feels very, very jealous, and angry and feels, hey, I'm sitting on a tricycle. What is he doing on a two-wheeler? He can read, why can't I? And they, they can feel less than, in, pretty inadequate. Yeah, it's, and it's tough to navigate as parents, but one thing that we should always try and do as much as we can is carve out that individual time with each kid. Absolutely, to a child, time equals attention equals love. So you want to try to make sure that you are giving enough time to each child, as difficult as that is. It is, it is. And then what about setting some boundaries on those sibling battles and making sure that they're not going overboard, they're not really beating each other up all the time? Absolutely. You need to set a boundary and say that in our family, we don't hit, we don't kick, we don't hurt anybody, we don't say mean things. If you have feelings, you can talk about them. And lots of kids don't know what to say, so you can give them some phrases. They can say, I feel left out. I'm worried you love her more. And once you talk about it, I'll help you. Yeah, that's a great place to start. And what about different kids have different needs? Are there ways to meet them where they're at, where you're still kind of evening the playing field as much as you can for your different children? You need to, you need to work very hard uh, to do that because suppose you have one child who is starting um, high school and there's lots of uh, new pressures and, and you need to spend a lot of time with him. Then you make sure to set up some special play dates with your other children and put it on the calendar so they know that they matter to you too. Yeah, sometimes you literally have to pencil it in, but we've got to make it work. And then I have a question for you about adult relationships with siblings. Do you find sometimes that we carry those things with us and people can have arguments with their adult siblings? Absolutely. Oh, uh, many things from childhood get carried into the later years. And um, children, re uh, children re were either the preferential child and another child may feel very angry about it, even when they're 70. <laughs> what should you do if you feel like you're not the favorite and you feel like you're holding a grudge and your parents are never gonna give you your due? Well, first of all, uh, it's, it's very important to teach your children to make sure that they do let you know because you, you don't wanna miss it. You don't wanna miss it. Um, and then as you get older, you can, you can talk to your sibling 
so that it's not inside of you, but you've gotten it out into the air. And uh, it, it's very helpful to try to, to clear the air. Yeah, just as we teach our kids to use their words, we can use ours too. It can help everybody. Yes. Thank you so much for spending some time with us, Mary. It was great chatting with you. It was wonderful speaking with you. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.